Loraxia. Definitely Sounds needs good. to be hidden. Yeah. I appreciate the concern. Thank you. That's, you know. No, I do appreciate it. Didn't want um, you to showcase how down bad you were, so let's continue. Okay. All right. So, uh, real quick, just the format of it. Um, kind of a data header at the top. Uh, so area of operation just helps put it into context for like if you're looking back at prior TT load acts because you never know you might operate in the same area again and I know it's not super relevant for Mike Force or some of the other stuff but if we by chance generated one of these for lib and then we lost the sector if it worked really well we could go back and use it again um, date again just for whatever uh nearest fsb uh just puts a place to the grid for what we're doing and we are in the server if you guys want to jump in so you can draw on the map and do stuff to, to actually build this out um battery grid is important because uh that helps determine your gun target line which i'll talk about shortly time of flight so for time of flight it actually requires you to jump in the gun and then what I will do is I will click on the closest and further edge of the AO and then just generate an average. Uh, it doesn't have to be exact. It's not in place of actually getting a time to splash from the gunner. It's just, it's useful for planning, um, especially smoke. Um, so on some of the LZ infills that we've done on uh, Mike Force, those have been timed very very precisely so that we've had he coming in on the lz and then once we reach a certain point in the flight there is smoke. a lift and it'll switch to smoke and so i need to know how long will it take for that last round of he to get there and how long will it take for that first round of smoke to get there and that's why the time of flight is useful for this and then comms plan just it uh gives a reference at the top in case we ever change that so down on the actual table itself, uh, the target is, is just simply a reference number. They're in blocks of five because you can call these fire missions in and then you could do an adjust fire. And technically, every time you do an adjust fire, it gets a new target ID. So just using the example we already have there, we've got Kilo Charlie 100. We've got the location, it's on the AA mark. We've got six round air burst, 50 meter radius. That's what's going to be going out. If that was totally wrong and we did an overflight and we saw that it was 50 meters to the north of that, we could do an adjust fire 50 meters north. And technically that fire mission would be Kilo Charlie 101. It's a lot to keep track of and it's a lot to add on top of it all. So I don't do it that way. I just say adjust fire. Um, but you would be able to assign that a new target ID so that if in the future you ever had to call in that fire mission again, you could determine, do I want the original fire mission, Kilo Charlie 100, or do I want the adjusted fire mission, Kilo 101? So it just, it helps provide some specificity. Does that make sense? Nods all yes. around? Okay. Perfect. Talking to a wall. Um, the trigger on that one is fairly self-explanatory. If you tab over to the Maxwell field sheet, you can see it starts to get a little bit more spicy. So the initiation, so that's the point where that fire mission is going to be triggered. Sometimes it's automatic based on prior fire missions. Sometimes it's based off infantry movement. Um, so waiting until they pass something, um, sometimes it's based on other things entirely. So uh, basically anything that you want to use as the point at which that fire mission is cleared to fire. So it could be a wide range of things. Uh, phase lines, grid lines are also good. Um, so the ones that say RC and then the target ID. So Kilo Charlie 120, for example. So that's rounds complete on Kilo Charlie 100. 
So as soon as Kilo Charlie 100 is finished, Kilo Charlie 120 is clear for fire. Right, so that's an example of one that's totally automatic. Um, the lift, again, it's the exact same kind of circumstances of things. Um, generally speaking, it's dependent on infantry movement. Um, so, for example, Kilo Charlie 100, those are the HE and, and 105. Those are the, the HE on the LZ. So we know that we've got a 44 second flight time. So when we're about 60 seconds out from the LZ, that's when we need to know that we're going to lift fire so that by the time we're actually getting to the LZ, that last round has landed. So that's why we've used uh, the lift is either rounds complete or easting one zero. So as we cross easting one zero, we lift fire. Too easy? Okay, good. I'll just assume nobody has questions if they don't show something up. Um, location, I've been going with eight figure grids. If there's a mark that is associated with the position, you can put that on a second line. Just helps give us some context. Um, I've been preferring eight figure grids over a keypad because it just gets a little bit more accurate. Um, doesn't have to be much, but um, it's the difference between, you know, plus or minus 15 meters or plus or minus 10 meters. So it's, it's just a little bit more accurate. Is anybody not familiar with obtaining an eight figure grid? Me. Okay, cool. So I am back in the server. Yes. Uh, let me swap the stream back over to Arma. So, uh, referencing the Sheldrake marker. Okay, what is our six-figure grid? Will be zero zero one zero eight one. Yes. So, the eighth figure is just an additional subsection of that six figure grid. So if you imagine along this line, there's 10 more. Oh God. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then along this line, there's, there's 10, 10 more. more. Oh, God. so it looks like a lot, but we're just estimating, right? So if we're going, we've got zero, zero, one. So in this box, from left to right, so your your Eastings, approximately on a scale of one to ten, where is it at? Like seven? Uh yeah. Right? Okay, cool. So zero zero one seven. There's your Easting. And then going from you know south towards north, seven zero eight one two. Okay, so there's eight end of each one. All right, so I'll swap back over to Chrome because we'll look at attack guidance. So for the attack User left guidance. User channel. Oh, yeah, stay. No, it's heads, actually. Oh. Drop down. Um, okay. There's a lot of information that can be passed along here. This is effectively telling you everything that you need to know to get ordnance on the deck. So... This is going to tell you whether it's HE, frag, airburst, what sort of pattern, if it's a radius, if it's linear, um, if it's as fast as you can, if it's one round over a certain period of time, right? So one round every 15 seconds, uh, that sort of thing. So generally speaking, destruction I will use that to specify, get it out as fast as you can, because we're trying to destroy what's ever there. Oh, yeah, destruction of EI on LZ. Yeah. So the attack guidance is for the destruction of EI on LZ. Look for 12 rounds HE, 100 meters along the tree line. So that's that's pretty specific, right? Um, if we recall this op, 
we know that uh, we were doing those LZs kind of on the north end of the island um, on the shoreline. So 100 meters along the tree line, we've given the location of the LZ itself. And then the attack guidance has specified something a little bit different. Uh, now that that specific eight figure grid, um, I would have placed that on the actual tree line itself rather than on yep. the LZ, right? Um, so then just 100 meter spread somewhere around there, kind of along the axis of the tree line. Um, 12 rounds, get a mode as fast as you can, and you're good to go. Then going on to Kilo Charlie 110. So we're looking for linear Willy Pete. So a line of Willy Pete, and then 10 rounds of smoke. And it's also going to be linear. It's 150 meters over 90 seconds. So I, I was a little bit more specific on this one because I said count the Willy Pete in the time. Right. And I also just made it as a general thing. I didn't say specifically smoke as the 90 seconds. So you do on that 150 meters, one line of Willy Pete, and then 10 rounds of smoke with whatever time you have left. So if it took you 20 seconds to get an example with these 105s in the modern mod set, yeah. we don't have Willy Pete, we only have smoke. So it'll just be linear smoke. Um, and I might specify a round count. So um, linear smoke, 15 rounds, 150 meters for 90 seconds, attitude north south. That's probably what you're going to see and what we can build. Um, Kilo Charlie 120 this is another type of fire mission. Two minutes suppression, one round every 15 seconds for a total of eight HE. So we're looking for two minutes of continuous fire. And the timing between each round is 15 seconds. It's really, really, really useful because that explosion and that frag, as we've seen, actually causes them to go prone. Mm -hmm. So if there's a potential avenue of approach that I'm concerned about, I will use this in the vicinity. Because, right over two whole minutes, we've only used 8 HE, and it's effectively prevented us from taking contact that way. So I'm a big fan of that, as you can probably see. I use it a lot. Uh, do you have any questions about the format of the TP loadout? Anybody? No, pretty straightforward. Okay. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, comment, whatever. So when you have the, uh, what is it? The attitude was the word? Yep, attitude. Or, yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, you say north-south. You, you said it was centralized on the line? Centralized on the grid. On the so, grid? Yeah. So if we look... Um, Let's jump back. Well, I, 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 like, I think I know what you're trying to do, but like for me, when I see like, oh, he wants it, you know, 005081, and I see they're coming from the south, I'll start it from the south and move north. Yeah, so there's nothing wrong so with that. So it kind of rolls with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's all I mean by, okay, so let's look, let's imagine we're actually going to put it on the Sheldrake mark. So that's that was our grid. It was zero zero one seven zero eight one two. Yeah. Right. So imagine that's your grid. The orientation is going to be north south, one hundred fifty meters. Right. One hundred fifty meters attitude north south. So your total line length is going to be one hundred fifty meters, mm -hmm. but it's just centralized on that grid. So if we go. It was just the word centralized. I wasn't yeah, yeah, sure that's what fair. you meant. So yeah. Like that. Okay. Give or take. Like, it's very, very rough. Yeah, no, yeah, the, the idea. Right. Like, if I knew you guys were coming from, I'd kind of have it rolled with you. Yeah, exactly. So, like, if we're progressing um, from south, you know, say we're assaulting this base yeah. or something, and we're, we're coming this way, yeah, then absolutely yeah. you can go here, 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 here. So that way that smoke's covering us. Totally. 100% yeah. good. Okay. Um. To make sure you didn't want it for some reason to start in the middle, go up and then back no, down. No, or no, something. no, no, no. I mean, if that's what makes the most amount of sense, sure. Like for example, okay, so whatever makes sense with the rolling context, yeah, okay. yeah. And at the end of the day, the smoke, unless it's a really, really tight timing, the smoke is going to be a full pass of smoke down before we need it. Yeah. So the smoke lasts for approximately seventy seconds. I call it sixty seconds to be safe. So on the end of the line, that first 
smoke canister has been deploying smoke for 30 seconds. And it's got another 30 seconds left and you're starting to pop a second canister on top of it. Yeah. Right. So there's this considering how long it takes for the round to get there and then how long it takes to do the line. That's part of building linear smoke to ensure that you have that coverage. Okay. That's where the time of flight comes in. Right. So if we're flying in and we're coming in at 200 kilometers an hour on a helicopter, mm hmm. Right. It's, it gets a bit mathy on this, right? But 200 kilometers an hour uh, gives us 55 meters per second. So we've got 44 seconds of flight time. Plus, we probably want that full 35 seconds of smoke to fill that entire line. So the total amount of time that we need is... Uh, call it 80 seconds. So we're going to take our 55 meters per second to multiply that by 80 seconds. We need to have that first round of smoke shot out at four and a half kilometers away from the LZ. So when the helicopter is four and a half kilometers out, that first round of smoke needs to go. I know there's a lot of mental gymnastics behind that one. But is, does that make sense? Yeah, you went there before. Right? Yeah. And so by having that, so the initiation, that's where you, that's how you develop the trigger. So if we consider we're standing on top of Sheldrake, uh, let's say we're coming from FOB Denver, just for kicks here. FOB Denver is six kilometers away. So with that in mind, um, only got a 30 minute mini for this, right? So yeah. it's going to take some time to get people squared away. So if at the end of the day, we only have about 10 minutes worth of fires, it's all good. Blow up. Yeah, pretty well. So considering we're, we're going to be taking the same route. Um, my initial thoughts are let's bombard the shoreline yeah so we can destroy a lot of the emplacements here as Something we approach like. as we approach i would say let's get some smoke potentially in the open here because you can't necessarily smoke really well amongst the buildings no Right. It's not necessarily going to cover well. Um, and like we can't, well, we could, we have six guns, right? There's a lot of eight. What's going on here? <laughs> I mean, you should That's definitely better. read it. I don't know if you need to moderate it. Goodness sakes, guys. <laughs> Everything else is, is not of use. Christoph's comment, though. Whew. Yeah, okay. Do we want to HE the whole eastern side of the road, or just that one? We'll just take a vote. What do we want to do, Here. guys? Y'all were there. Except for heads. Well, my question becomes, what's still there? Because yeah, our little seesaw forest lots. decimated the place. Probably lots, to be honest. We don't necessarily know what's exactly there. There could Civilian still be presence. None. Fucking nuke the town. Mm. There we go. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Fixed it. Yeah, exactly. Panic. That is <laughs> that is what I would recommend. We know okay. that it was a heavily fortified zone with heavily entrenched positions. Fucking make it not exist. Done. All right. So let's, why don't we do it this way? Why let's break it up into two fire missions. I would say two fire missions. Let's do one, focusing the buildings right along the shoreline. It's about 125 meters of linear HE, right? 
then a second. I mean, it's difficult, like, but we can still give a centralized grid like here-ish, right? That's fine. A second fire mission covering everything else in the rest of the city. Now, to be, you know, further to that, do we don't really care necessarily about all this because we're not super exposed to it all. Fair. But like this for sure. True, but it could be follow on forces that'll strike our rear as we pass by. Exactly. So there's that. There's also these buildings here. And we probably took some contact from stuff here. So I would say maybe consider putting some HE linear on the eastern edge of these clusters. So what is that? Four fire missions? Yep. One smoke right. there. Or are we just doing the HE? Well, we're just doing the HE from out because we got to drive oh, yeah. down, right? We got to drive all the way down from up top. Or like the friendlies do. This is, right? The concept is this is a fire mission to assist the lav qrf okay. so we're we're notionally assuming that there's a convoy of labs headed down through all this okay right on so let's write up switch back over to tt lodak i wish there's a way that i could get both of these on the stream uh, you a, can if you were to do a display, uh, like a display capture, and then just drag the route. Well, you'd have to toggle back and forth because. Oh, no, 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 I got one. I know what I can do. Oh, no, you can have, you can have two. Oh yeah, I guess, yeah, you can overlay it as a separate source, huh? Yeah. yeah. That'd actually be pretty useful. What are you people From, like... doing in my chat? That's <laughs> point. <laughs> you people? Say. I think you mean heads. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's go back to Arma. User joined your channel. Hello? Hey, reader. Hey, guys. Howdy. Okay, how does that look? You aren't ill. Is that legible, guys? Uh... I'm sure if it was full screen. Yeah, full screen with 1080p strokes, it's somewhat legible. Well, and I was showing up too. Yeah, if you want to like make it, because you don't need to show the top of the top of the uh, yeah. Chrome tab. You just need the table. Well, how? Do... I don't know. How to do I, either kind of either problems. double click or right click on the source that's capturing the Google. And I think you can edit it from there. Think of like uh, cropping an image, kind of. Oh, I'd have to fiddle with that a bunch. It's not too bad right now. Yeah, unfortunately, I'd have to fiddle with it a bunch to get it to. I can experiment for you so you don't have to do it on stream. Don't mind. Oh, I can just do that. Hold on. That'll work. Is that good? Yeah, it's good enough. Okay. As long as you can pretty well see it. You just got to be cognizant with how you're centering your Angma 3. Yes. Uh, I got to get my... Yeah. Okay. Huh. Anyway, what I what I missed in the last couple minutes... Uh, not much. Mostly just, mostly just going over... Well, you... Actually, never mind, actually. You're literally just setting that up. In your time it took you to switch over here. Huh. So Panic is currently working up... Um, approximately the different fire missions we're going to have. Okay. Just at the um, uh, bridge area. Yeah, so we're working on just the initial strikes. So the lab convoy is on its way down from the base. It's en route. What do we want to smash? 
So Kilo Charlie one zero zero. So I think initiation for all these. We got one, two, three, four, maybe five. So it'll take us all the way down to Kilo Charlie one one five, maybe one two zero. Initiation for all these infantry departs from staging. That's perfect. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Lift. Well, we don't want to get danger close. And by we the time like we start approaching, line. by the time we start approaching, we want to switch to that smoke and yeah. maybe maintain some suppression in the city for us to be able to roll across that bridge because there's potential for IEDs and all that. So it might take us a little bit to get across. So what's a good point for us to lift fire on all this HE? Grid line, I'm going to say... We've got four zero way up here because what's our, our time of flight is 75 seconds. Right? And if we're going at... Uh... Uh, 78. Wait, it's gonna be need to be way way farther north then. Well, it doesn't have to be perfectly timed. Like we can hold up here in this compound. That's all good. Right. Actually, if we want, let's say I'd have you guys hold. We right, can right there. Yeah. We can set right. it to medium charge, and it's uh, forty seconds. Okay. Cool. So, so that's even closer though. if needed. So this uh this construction site that you guys held in the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did it actually provide? any sort of cover yes yes up on this so, end for sure up in here was okay why don't we have the guys stage in there wait for the rounds to complete and then hit it that way they're already there so they can hit it within you know 20 seconds of rounds complete mm -hmm. or we can like start stopping once they approach it like i don't know basically zero four zero line yeah like stop it there they get their rounds land and then Smoke's hopefully landing or on the way. So don't want the smoke landing before they get there or when they push. Well, we want it landing before they step out from the construction site. Yeah. Okay. Um. So if we have zero four zero as our lift, that's good with me. So does somebody not in armor want to write in the TT loadout? So it'll be super easy for Panic Knight to relay. And then I can just change my stream source over to Chrome. And I don't have to actually alt tab. There. Perfect. Uh, so real quick, I don't know what you want to call this fire support base. Just, I, I don't know. Northwest is fine. What's the city name? Uh, I believe... I okay, believe we're I not doing shake, though. I, I believe I gave... <laughs> I, I believe... I gave the uh, air base there uh, a name, so uh... there isn't a name. No, no, there is because I gave it one. Okay. Okay, and what is it? Uh, air base tuned as a dick. Okay, well, we're not using that. <laughs> Just northwest is fine. Doesn't matter. Uh, what's up, battery grid? Zero zero one zero eight one. It's six guns, so it basically consumes the whole grid square. Cool. Uh, time of flight? So, time of flight, I think for the entire AO, average is 75. Because the medium okay. will only go to about grid line 03. Yeah. Mm, gotcha. So, so I would maintain 75. That's kind of why I put it there. We can use medium on for this fire mission are these mm. something to keep in mind though is angle of terminal phase so the closer you get to the edge of the maximum range the flatter trajectory yeah. the artillery round is at so when we're looking at something that's a dense urban environment yeah maybe put that on the long might these fire missions might be best set for long for high angle Whereas these ones, yeah, it can these be could be mediums. really good for medium because it's going to slam into the side of that building yeah. and smash anything inside. So that could be really good. So it's just understanding the weapon deployment. And we can specify that in attack guidance. Right? Okay, so for Kilo Charlie 100, let's focus on this shoreline. Initiation, infantry departure from staging, awesome. Lift, 
is going to be northing 040. It's actually, it's rounds complete. So RC or northing 040. Right on. Um, okay. Location. What do you think a grid is? Where, like, where's where's a good grid to put it? Like on the schoolhouse here. Yeah. It's probably good central. That's yeah, the central part of it. User left your yeah. channel. So zero two five eight. Yeah. Zero three two six. Yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, six. All right. I'm good with that. Any POI note to go with it? Not really. Okay. It's close enough. All right. Um, observer can remain. We're not... I don't know who's doing what, so we'll, we'll leave that as is for now. We can change that. Um, delivery system is... I think I labeled it as Delta battery, but there's still 105s, so that's fine. It, and the name of it doesn't really matter. Okay, attack guidance. So, for the attack guidance, we know that we are going to be doing on that shoreline. We're looking for kind of that row of buildings. So, we want destruction of, I guess, fortifications and placements, something like that. How many rounds of HE do we want? How many batteries we got? I mean, how many guns we got in the battery? Same. Yeah, how many how many guns are we going to put to the one fire mission? Depends on what the gun line commander says. So, we can determine how many guns in the attack guidance. I would personally leave it up to the gun line. But, if we've got the same amount of time for four fire missions, and two of them have twice the round count, well, that one's probably, you know, those two are probably going to get the extra two guns. Yeah. Right? So it's kind of dictated based off needs. So, um, for, let me swap back to Arma, sake of figuring this out, why don't you go ahead, fire off an HE, and start a timer when you click send and then fire off a second one and then how many rounds or how many seconds between each shot yep. just so we get an idea uh eight seconds eight seconds so I mean, we got a hot minute to get down there. Four or five kilometers. User joined your channel. Right. It's a bit of a so turn. It's a bit of a track. Five and a half. Yeah, five and a half kilometers. So, like, we've got a lot of time. We've got eight seconds between each round. Got a lot of ammunition. Honestly, for 200 meters of lineage. We could probably do 30, 40 rounds of HE. Just on that uh, one. Yeah. So we'll put like four guns on that or shoot 10 each or five each, whatever. Well, you got to think we've got these other three fire missions going on at the same time, right? Yeah. Okay, so that you are wanting to hit the entire city at the same. Yeah, why not? We got the guns for it, right? We make it unalive. So okay, I'm imagining the whole battery eating each little section. So, so just one hit. Thirty round he. User disconnected from your channel. Yeah, what thirty kind round of he radius. Um, uh -oh. 200 meters along shoreline.
the alternate option is using the attitude. I prefer saying along shoreline when there's something to specifically reference. Because if we said um, 200 meters ATT east west, you'd end up with a line that looks kind of like this if they took it literally. Whereas if you say yeah. along shoreline, they're going to go like along, along the shoreline. actual so shoreline. That's more of what we want. Okay, cool. Um, everybody good with that fire mission? How that's going to end up? If it's a single gun, 30 rounds HE, it's going to be about two minutes. Two minutes of fire. Continuous. There might be a reload in there or something like that, right? So that sounds pretty good well, to me. Yeah, how long will it take you to drive there? Longer takes, than that? Yeah, it takes longer than that. So, yeah. So, that's fine. Last, last time, I think it took you guys, like, call it. And it was a total. Yeah. You know, and nothing says that it's, in, like, going to start immediately when we leave oh, yeah. the base, right? Like, there might be a bit of a lag and all that. So, that's all good. Um, But again, like, this is notional. Like, we're not actually driving it. We're not actually doing this simultaneous. We're not actually going to have these fires when we do the labs. So... It, it doesn't really matter. Okay, cool. So for the trigger for the next three, it's all the same. So just drag around down the exact same initiation, exact same lift. Perfect. Okay, location. Uh, let's do the meat market down here. Uh, what do you think? 0255? 0320? I get with you? Yeah. And then attack guidance. It's not quite as big an area. It's not quite as deadly necessarily. Uh, I'm thinking a 75 meter radius. Yeah. Probably good. Um, maybe 20 rounds HE. And do you want to make sure to put that uh, this one's on the long charge and the other yes. one on the medium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then um, I would put this after destruction of fortifications, comma, medium, med med range. So that for the second, kill Charlie 105. Oh, pardon me. No, no, no. You're correct. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Zero, yeah, zero yeah. is medium. Zero, zero. We want a medium. One, the other five we is want long. long. Yeah, because we want it to come at a high angle. Yeah. But the other one, we want at a low angle so it would impact the side of the buildings. Good, thank you. Good. Okay, that one's good. Kilo Charlie 110. Uh, let's make that this one over here. Yep. What do you guys think for grid? Like ish? Yeah, as I say, about here. Okay. Uh, somebody want to give me that grid? Uh, zero, 030. Zero. Sorry, what I'll now? Say, Try that again. Hold on. Nope. Yep. Thank you. I'm just going to give up. <laughs> That's all good. Zero two five. Uh, zero two five. Uh, I'll say eight or nine. Eight? For which ones, right? I went with eight. Yeah. So it was zero two five one zero three zero eight. Yeah. Look good. Fifth. 75 meters again, or 50 meters? I guess that kind of 75 is, is probably good. Yeah, 75, 80. So, yeah, just go 75. Okay. Um, how many rounds? It's about the same size. 20 again? Same size, but it's more spread out. The buildings are just condensed. So, so do you want more condensed. or less? Because we can adjust the previous one if you think it needs more. Yeah. Needs more uh, we could also go up to 40 rounds on the shoreline and 30 rounds here and 20 rounds here if we wanted. I think the other two are fine. Okay. But I also don't know how heavily fortified this was. So, like, I don't know, dropping, like, 100 rounds would be like, oh, there's two guys here. How heavy fortified what is? The southern uh, sector there. So, reference a uh, very large building grid 02400. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker. 
had had some boys. Mm-hmm. Um, other than that, uh, building. Can we put a GPU through the roof? Uh, I'll put a two thousand pounder if you want it. So that's the thing about TT Lodax. Um, we haven't played around with it yet, just because uh, it starts to get a little complicated, even for me. You can incorporate aviation assets into a TT Lodax for fires. Whatever, plant a suppression fire for the building at least, and then we'll put air on it. Yeah, yeah. So that'll come. So this is just phase one. Phase two is going to be smoke and suppression fire. Yeah. That makes sense. Listen, I don't need feel like I would only interfere with your process, like Hitler trying to control companies on the Eastern Front. Hmm. Uh, well, I mean, you're you're no, 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 kind no. of like the lead. This is like, like I would not refer to it as interfering with the process. Building the TT Lodak goes hand in hand with the battle plan. Like, yeah, like what are you going to do in this uh, here right. so we can build around you? Yeah, mm. come on, Hitler. And vice versa. Go to the caucuses. Like, uh, your, your thought could be... lead, one, and two. I'm not sure if I need to be that involved in this much granular detail. However, I'm here, so mm-hmm. there you go. My you know, thought being, okay, how do you want to cross this? Do you want smoke here? Do you want smoke here? Like, do you want... You know what I mean? Like, how do you plan on, on oh, doing no, this? Cause... Right? You're, yeah, you're covering the thing with the thing. Okay, there you go. So okay. My so thought, my thought is as a dumb as a dumb fly fly boy. Yeah. Um if the artillery could hit the uh so reference the south uh the southernmost quadrant of I guess that's what you call it section. Um the one we were just talking about, the zero two four zero three zero. All those small buildings to the east. Those had guys in them. Gotcha. And air will not be able to engage that super effectively. One right. one big target. Hey, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can. I can fuck a building. <laughs> uh, a bunch of little ones. No. It didn't. It didn't go great. It ends up with unexploded ordnance, and then Tots dies, and it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. So that's what one one zero will take care of. Correct? Yes. Yes. Correct. Okay. And then we've got a f- another one for over here. Cool. Yep. I like it. I dig it. Uh one thing worth noting, reader, I think you'll confirm this. This is one of those construction buildings, and I think it was loaded. Insanely so. Yeah. So very heavy. Updated. 40 rounds HE. I'm good with that. Um, actually, I can tell you all the buildings that were extremely heavily loaded. Uh, extremely large construction site building, as previously marked. Um, every building along the road had between two to six guys minimum. It appeared that they were lined up to really fire upon the MSR. It's almost like That's... they were guarding it. They, yeah, they it's almost like they were guarding city it. city into a battleship. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, yeah, the entire shoreline was heavy, and uh, reference building zero two four zero three three on the shoreline. Yeah, that one we took a lot of contact from. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that little one right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we also oh. know that uh operators were using this as a foothold so anything that was there that could possibly be used against us as we roll through more than likely destroyed possible they could have set up again but it's likely just light infantry that's my take on it sure i i was just yep. i was just going by what i what i saw from no nope, that's perfect a thousand feet up in the air so this is one here this is going to be another linear one purely based off attitude so centralized grid this will be one two zero yeah again same same trigger for this one somebody want to pick out a grid for that so you're to do five no more like yeah. seven. Seven? 
five is the center line. Zero two two seven. Zero three two two. Yeah, it's good with me. I'm just eyeballing it from what I see on the stream, so feel free to to correct or criticize no, I think anybody who can see it in person. I think that's accurate. Um, so I do have. I'm gonna switch tabs here uh, to Maxwell Field. So for a linear target for HE, so. Um, here you go, Kilo Charlie 145 and 150 on the current sheet. Linear destruction of EI, 20 round frag. Um, now, the location itself on this one referenced a phase line, so that's why there was no uh, length or attitude provided. But the next, the second line for the attack guidance would be the length. And then the attitude. You're tracking that? You're seeing that? Can you read it okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So back for this one's going to be linear destruction of, well, likely EI, because we're not really targeting the buildings there. And then what's the length? 150 meters? 160. No, 175. Yeah, I... 175 because of the, uh, the angle. Yeah, that's fair. 175? No. And then how many rounds AT do we want along that? Uh, you said that it's a 20-ish meter spread? Or was that smoke? Uh, it, it can vary. Like, um... I generally go for about 20 meters. I like 20 meters because I can go 20 meters offset so I can do 20, 40, 60, etc., etc., and then I can come back on the the odds. So then it comes okay. back on 50, 30, 10. So you get a bit of better, better overlap. That's the only reason I do that. Um, but you think your lethal radius on this HE is probably like 50 meters-ish, give or take, plus or minus? I would, I would, I would minus up because of terrain and armor. Yeah, I generally minus for destruction. I plus for friendlies. <laughs> yeah, because uh, as we've seen, it'll kill at like a hundred plus meters if you catch shrapnel wrong. Um, have, a, yep. ha have a gal round land right next to a EI. He's fine. It lands within seventy-five meters of Dunny, and he goes down. True story. Ugh. Um. But again, like we've also got to think and consider uh, we've got uh, 20 to 40 rounds going out over here. So we've got a fair amount of time to play with. Um, we've only got four guns consumed, or maybe five, because we got that one getting 40 rounds over here. So I'm here. So, I'm here in 18, nine walking it up, nine walking it back down. Call it 20 to make it a nice even number and they can throw two in for pleasure. Sure. Good with that. Accidentally hit a building. Okay. So 20 round HE. I, so North, one quick note. I will generally put the length before the round count. It doesn't really matter. It's just how I've done it. It's all the same at the end of the day, but um, eh. the reason I do that is because I do um, it's kind of as part of like the think of linear smoke, you know, it'd be like 150 meters for 90 seconds. You know, one round every 10 or something like that. So, and then I do the attitude after the length. But that's the only reason to do that. It just keeps it consistent between smoke and Ichi. 
Okay, so with the 20 rounds, that's complete. Those are the initial fires. We can assume that everybody's at phase line one. Cool. Right, so our blue four guys, our mecky mecky boys, are now here. Cool. The bridge oh. is crossable or not? Yes, it is still crossable. Yeah, we moved uh, the. Uh... Yeah, just, the hub just a removed. note. The uh, the time isn't super applicable for this one because we're just looking for destruction, not suppression or like a time based. There you go. Cool. Okay, so kill Charlie one two five. So we've got a few different options at this point, right? We've destroyed theoretically, destroyed everything that's in here. So now we need to cover the cross of the bridge. So Panic and I had initially talked about putting a smoke screen here. So anything that might be coming in from here or in this open ground won't have eyes on as we come across this way. We could anything do another on the here, east. We could do another on the east, but we've hammered that pretty hard. Yeah. So the other thought is of mine, this is front facing for the armor of the labs and the turrets. So it's very easy for them to watch. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Toss, do you have any other thoughts? Any inputs, desires? I mean, not really. It's going to be dictated a little bit by amount of enemy resistance and mm -hmm. wind direction and all that stuff. So, I mean, it sounds like you have contingencies for another one. So, Whose baboo do I hear? Fine. That's awesome. Okay, so let's put Kilo Charlie 125 um, as the smoke, and then we'll figure out suppressive fires after that. So I'm going to the... hold you here. Mm -hmm. I am going to dip now because I'm 30 minutes out from bed. I'm going to start to decompress, and it was a really, sh really shitty day. So okay. uh, I am going to dip. Uh, this is a good plan, though, and I do appreciate you wanting my input. I really do. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry that the other thing went a bit longer than it should have. Oh, you're good. Yeah. I am out. Right on. See you, Tots. See you. Mm. See you, Tots. Later. Mm. User left your channel. Okay, so the initiation of 125 can be the lift of all the prior. So we can do northing 040. As the initial? Mm-hmm. Um, and you'll have to do funky stuff with the lift because Google Sheets doesn't like putting it to a second line unless it physically has to wrap the text. So uh, I've already figured out the solution to that. Oh, of course you have. Thanks. Oh, there we go. It, it's called Control Enter. Oh, really? Fuck. I was I was gonna <laughs> yes. say something, but like I was that's just a thing. Gonna... Also, yeah. you could just format it so that it's two rows instead of one, and you'll yeah. never have the issue. Yeah. Yeah, but I wanted Considering to look... how many of these entries, and you can just merge the ones that you want to only have one. Huh. <laughs> like uh, here, no, I show. No, 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 leave it. I no, I'm I'll, tracking. I'll, I'll, I'll... You you can do the template later. I like the yes. I see. Yes, I know. I I like it. We'll do that later on the template, and then we'll use it going forward. Um. Okay, lift for this. <laughs> Probably zero tree tree. Like all all vehicles south across the river. So rounds complete or northing zero three three. Does that make is that agreeable? Yeah. Okay. Uh grid. Is that central ish? Zero two three five zero three three four? Three. Three? Zero, three. Three, three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Far enough south of the center line. Cool. Now for delivery system, when it's smoke, I will add smoke at the end. So A battery or or D battery one zero five millimeter smoke. It just it starts to 
make it a little bit more <laughs> we're dropping smoke not he ortho looking at you <laughs> i immediately thought of ortho as well thought of both ortho and cause since that happened to both yeah that's gotta be rough I always check like in between rounds as well. Like, oh, okay, that's AG. That's AG. Now it's, it's important. One thing to note with these guns, they only have four rounds smoke each. Oh, before you need to reload. North, um, I appreciate you cleaning all that up. I'm a I'm a bit OCD about spreadsheets. No, so. I'm I'm with you. What do you think I've been doing the black so box so smoke so seriously? So it says 4-2. I don't think it's actually 4-2. I don't think so either. Oh, hello. I'm just going to light these oh, up because yeah. I think it's just the 4. I tested it earlier and it said 4 and like there was two others, but then it didn't actually, you know what I mean? Um, okay, so we're no, we know we're doing linear scope. One more round here. Oh, jeez. And that shell... Hits the frame, bounces like a. It did bounce. Did Goodness. you shoot? Yeah, I did. A fourth? Yeah. I didn't hear it. Oh, that's probably because this thing was bouncing. Yeah, it switched to HE frag automatically at the end of the four. So that's that'll be important to relay to folks. I mean, the shells are cool, but like that's gonna potentially cause some issues. Oh yeah. If it's bouncing up and down, like getting. That's a kilometer off. Wrong. That's a kilometer off. That's fine. <laughs> Danger close. <laughs> plus or minus. Um, <laughs> I was going to say plus or minus 25. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Is that meters or kilometers? Yeah, well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, oh. well. See, like, look at that. Imagine he's doing that <laughs> when you're trying to light a round off. Like, that's just asking for disaster. And you know their faces are going to be stuck in the artillery computer, right? So they're never going to see it or realize it. What the fuck am I doing? You're to you slide yeah, you, can, you can you can move artillery pieces now. Oh, I yeah. know, but like the tow rope came out. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. The tow you're, rope to you. you're all you're all you you up. are the tow vehicle. Yeah, yeah. It, that that's how the vehicle tows it as well. It uses a rope. It's kind of jank. Ooh. Sling load PTSD kicking in. I like that they added that though. That's yeah, cool. sling loading works. Trust me. Mm, okay. Let's see what the inside of the barrel looks on this one. I never have an issue. Panic. Okay. Just all the all rest right. of us. All right, so we're going to go for linear smoke. Uh, what's our. Now, I got to remind myself the format here. I did. For that one, I did it that way. Yeah, so linear smoke, distance for time, attitude. Uh, 250? Is that accurate? Is attitude supposed to be sure. the uh, trajectory? That's the direction of the line, yeah. Okay, that would be uh, probably 280. I approximate it. I can change the line. Two two fifty would be going the other way. Okay. Yeah. So I just do like cardinal directions. And you got to remember, like it's smoke, right? So it's gonna plume reasonably large. Do not just put axis uh, riverbank. ATT shoreline. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. You all it is is just looking to provide some guidance for the direction of that. Smoke. For the for, for the gunner, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So two hundred meters for ninety seconds. Uh, ooh, let's get a quick. That's placeholder. Yeah, I think. What do we agree that it's. 250? Yeah. Or is that so. 200? That's uh, a little more than 200. Where is it? It's like between 2 and 220. I just put 2. 2 is probably sufficient. Um, let 
Let me go close. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we'll pop off around IG. Got smoke. Before I do that, panic. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your little vacation. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to get shot at there. No, there's no enemies anymore. I figured. Where did I plop you again? I don't know. This fucking guy. Okay, that's where it is. Okay. I'm gonna put the rounds just south of you there. Okay. Just north of that little, uh, yeah. Alright, ETA 26 seconds for smoke. So, once it hits, like, I'll advise splash. Start a timer. Let me know the approximate seconds before there's like a decent plume. And then the final time when it disappears. Oh my god. So start on splash. Lap on Two, decent plume. And, got my and then oh, yeah. okay. got my stopwatches ready. Here we go. Or was that a splash call, Dick? Well, the splash is more visual than anything. I'm giving an ETA. I did, I said two. We can do another round, so let me get. Did you do like four of them? No. It deploys it multiple ones. canisters. Oh, okay. I think it has five canisters. Going from the it's Zeus five. Zeus perspective, 20 seconds. 20 seconds to a, a plume. A good one. Yeah. Yeah, I got a 15. Your, your, wind, your, wind, your wind is fucking up. But yeah, yeah, the wind is fucking... Yeah, that's rough. Yeah. I mean, we got like 150 meters of linear smoke on that. Yeah. Ooh. That's a good day. Turbulence mod. And he's done. You'll be fine. Yep. Okay, what was total time? 20 seconds to plume. And what was a total? minute. 60 seconds smoke? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's consistent with, with Vietnam then. Um, okay, so with that in mind, we know that we can do one round every 8 seconds, and it lasts 60 seconds. Well, is that 60 seconds from Splash? 40 seconds from Plume. Yes. So we've got 200 meters for 90 seconds. Do we need more than 90 seconds? Do we want more than 90 seconds? you got to remember, first round is going out from Phase Line 1, give or take. right? So we just have to assume for, for safety cushion... First round is launched immediately when they cross phase line one. Yep. Right? We have potentially a 75 second flight time. For this, they could use medium. We could specify medium if we want to ensure that it gets there sooner. But aside from the first canister, it really doesn't make much difference because it's like time between. Yeah. Shots. So we've got not quite a kilometer, 700 meters to tra traverse, plus a bridge, which might take five minutes on its own, assuming there is no IEDs. Keep in mind, we can call a repeat. 
so if we get to the bridge and we encounter IEDs, we can't just drive across. Repeat. We can repeat. So I think let's get that faster splash time. Let's specify after linear smoke, medium range again. I think that's going to come in handy. It's right along the shoreline, so that angle of terminal Shouldn't matter. doesn't matter. That should work well. Um, time. I'm inclined to say more is better. What are you guys' thoughts for time? I just, how long it would take to get there? People actually getting so ready if we're to going, move. If we're going at 50 kilometers an hour constant, that's 13.8 meters per second. We've got 700 meters to cover, give or take. See, it's the uh, 50 constant. So that would be, if it was a constant speed of 50 kilometers an hour, that would be 50 seconds of driving to get to the other side of the bridge. Yeah. So but will it stay constant? Like, will they stop? Got, well, but here's the thing. We've got 40 some seconds of flight time. Yeah. So phase line one, I think is fine. But that means we're going to have to hold. Because again, phase line one is also the termination of those other rounds. Yeah. HEs. Right? Um, which are also going to have 40 seconds of flight time. Landing here and here and all this. These ones down here, they're going to have 75 the seconds 70s, of flight yeah. time. So we're going to have to pull into this compound and at least... Yeah wait until that smoke is rounds out yeah i think they're definitely have to wait there either way so that's going to consume some of our smoke time probably a good you know 60 seconds worth probably so i'm inclined to say double it go for 180 seconds minute and a half Does that sound good? Say 180 is a minute and a half. Yeah. That's three minutes. 180. Yeah. So we're going to go for three minutes. 180 seconds. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah. So don't mind me. It's fine. Okay. I've been sitting here with my math this entire time just going, I. Like, you guys are coming up with different numbers than I was. So I was like, well, I guess I'm wrong and doing math wrong. Now I feel bad. What, on the time? Like, the time? Yeah. yeah the oh, time okay, so um, I took kilometers an hour divided by 3.6, which gives you meters per second. Right. right. And then I took the number of meters multiplied yeah. by the meters per second. Or, sorry, divided by the meters per second to give seconds. And I was with you, and then you said, like, that it was going to take like a minute and a half to get 50 seconds. Yeah, that was the part that I got thrown off on. Okay. Yeah. 50 seconds from phase line one to the bridge. Right. Okay. That's. But then okay. the hold, the hold was because phase line one is termination right. of these fires. And then we right, needed right. to give them time. It was going to, yep. so then it ended up being like, okay, we're going to be there, you know, from phase line one to being able to be over the bridge, probably about a minute and a half. Yeah. Okay. So, if we're calling in smoke for a minute and a half, that last round is going to be a minute and a half plus 40 seconds. Or sorry, three minutes is what we're calling it in for. No, but you know what I mean? Like, so. Yeah. Then you no, got plus I'm, 40 I'm, seconds I'm, plus I'm with you. 60 seconds of coverage. I'm with you. So we end up having uh, 280 seconds worth of smoke coverage. From phase line one, so it that's lots. Yeah, there's a bit of mental gymnastics required for this if you go 
full hog, which we are because we can. Nice. Okay, we'll so that's hurt. that's that's linear smoke taken care of. Um, and again, this is firing one round every eight seconds. So considering that one round every eight seconds, jumping two hundred meters, right for twenty meters each. That's ten rounds to cover the entire line. At eight seconds a piece, that's eighty seconds. So by the time you have dropped that last round, that first round has lost smoke for twenty seconds. Everybody tracking that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So for this one, because it's long and because the guns are slow, it will take two guns to provide that smoke coverage. And we haven't provided a round count, so that's fine. They could start at either end, and they could work their way, right? So one gun starts here, one gun starts here, then they overlap, then they go back, and there's just super thick smoke, and that's totally cool. But we also have to consider that each gun only has four rounds. So each gun, right, if it's eight rounds to do the full length, one gun can do half the length, the other gun can do the other half. And then... A third gun has to come back and relay, and a fourth gun has to come back and relay, while the first two guns are reloading. Like, rearming. That will be what is the job of the battery and the section commanders to make sure that their guns are operational. So this, is, this smoke line is going to re require two sections, four guns total. That leaves us a third section third and final section, two guns for any suppressive fires we want in the vicinity. So, that brings us to Kilo Charlie 130 and 135. So we've got smoke going out. The labs are here. They're about to be crossing the bridge. What are we worried about potential ingress? Or where they might be, where they might have eyes on? So, off to the east, reason. Yeah. Uh, the vehicles kept going to a staging point brought on the north side of the river. Yeah, consider that was no that factor. A... That was just okay. the yeah, that's Thank ECOM you. knowing that there's a land bridge here when there should just, be. Just wanted to yeah. make sure. No. Yeah, consider that that's just that's fine. Okay. Uh then for the other constant or... Well, this is the big open field. We had a lot of stuff flow through. But that's not necessarily our immediate issue as yeah. we're just trying to get across. I'm considering what could potentially prevent us from getting across here. Shoot through the smoke or move through the smoke. Right? We can't necessarily see them in certain places. So might we want to prevent them from moving in those areas? I've got a, a thought, I've got a plan in my head. I'll share it if you guys want me to or don't have something else. So many different ways this you can smoke yeah. that I'm just like, I don't I don't know. Panic North, you guys have any thoughts? Anybody in the chat I should probably check. You never know. No, it's just been Hetz talking about his points. Okay. Hetz, do you have anything to add, or have you gone to bed? He's got his little glass of milk right on. Oh, Wild Winters is spectating. I totally forgot to put the post up about the LMG course and the DMR stuff. Yeah. That was supposed to be two hours ago. Shoto messaged me looking for a spot. Yes, Shoto, you get it. Okay. Any thoughts? No, no <laughs> thoughts? No thoughts. No. 
Okay. Once we got across the river, I was just basically driving and getting downed repeatedly, so I don't remember anything about what was over That's there. That's fine. Oh. I'm more considering what is potentially down here. So we have stonked the city. That's cool. I think there's still a potential for stuff coming in. Um, I would say there's a good potential for things being in here, but it wasn't really super fortified that we saw or that was reported. It wasn't a ton of contact, but they still could flow out of there from other areas, what have you. So I would put some fires kind of in here. It's far enough away that we can get here and hold. And once we're across that bridge, then we can get a ceasefire. Um, but it'll prevent stuff from necessarily crossing out of this city into the open where they could be here waiting for us to ambush. Because we're blind from this smoke. Is that cool? Is that kosher? Anybody sure. think that's a terrible idea? We could keep up the uh, linear HE drop for until they're actually across the bridge if you want. I thought we, about that too. We could. Um, my thought, well, there's a, again, there's a million ways to, to slice it. Um, yeah. Putting that initial linear HE, that's for destruction of anything that might have eyes on, might be in place. Anything that could potentially be here waiting, kind of just in the tree line. Fair. Or like the, the building line. Um, we've dropped 20 rounds along this line, just hammering them out as fast as we can. Um, we could change that if we wanted and make it linear suppression. There's nothing wrong with that, but how long are we going to linear suppress? Because you got to remember, these initial fire missions are going as soon as we step out of the base. Yeah. So, like, mm. that's, like, potentially a 10-minute drive. So, or we're looking have, for... Like, be a... Like, have that suppress go off. I suppress the uh, destruction. Mm -hmm. Then have, like, a repeat it as a suppression. Okay, when so... When they arrive in, so like, he... construction. Yeah, or so... Or when they start moving. So Kilo Charlie 120 completes the same time as all these other fires. So we can basically use the same same location, similar attack <sighs> guidance. We're just going to change it from linear destruction of EI. We could make it linear suppression if we want to keep that line. Or do we just want to like a radius? I think line's good. Oh, I, yeah, I was just bringing up an idea for it. Just instead of, you know. Do you like yeah. Do you like the line? Do you want a line? I drew it. Of course I like the line. Okay, then let's do linear. So, yeah, literally copy past it from Kilo Charlie 120, and then we'll just edit it. Now, we're going to change the trigger, because our trigger is going to oh, be yeah. the same as, as 125. Because as soon as the smoke goes up, we can start doing this as well. Right up. So we'll do linear suppression. Then instead of giving a round count, should the lift like be that, changed? Yes, no, the I... lift can be changed if we want. We'll go back to that in a sec. Okay. Uh, how often we do we want a round? One round every twenty seconds. Yeah, it is suppression. So I would put it linear, two mins suppression, one round every 20 seconds, or however many minutes, but it doesn't have to be two minutes, we can change it, because we got the smoke going up for three. So we could do five, because you want probably want that suppression going longer than the smoke yeah because even once we're here they have we to go still past it yeah. we still don't want them sneaking up on us um just for 
space, I would ditch EI. Um, Oh, good job. Uh -oh. There, is that... That's kind of how... Yeah, and it gets... Yeah, with... Um, You could try ditching caps, too. That might help. Eh, I don't know. We'll fix it that much. Um... Uh, can you move that map left one grid square? Like, take your map and move. Thank you. Uh, just yeah, I know there's a delay. I did that. Yeah, I, uh, if you go to Maxwell Field, Kilo Charlie 140. Um, I did that exact format and it fit. Just don't use caps. Yeah, I know. That's... But I like caps. I know you do. I know you do. Which is the good and proper way. You didn't put shoreline in caps or fortifications. Also, I also just do RD for round. So again, a letter shorter. But it, it doesn't matter. Like, I'm just saying, when you start running out of room, it can help i make work is good that's fine oh uh, what was the what was the five, minutes? five, five? minutes five okay. minutes five slash minutes now i include the round count um so uh, you can put that on the first line if the yep. if the one round every 20 seconds doesn't fit on the first line put the round count on the first line. that's fine yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, and then I prefer to put the round count in brackets because it's kind of a subset. Just so it doesn't get confused as 15 rounds launching. You know what I mean? Like it's Yeah, 15 kind of rounds HE and then do one round every 20. Yeah, like it's an addendum too. Like... It just kind of helps say this is the context of it. No, 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 sorry. Put the brackets around the 15 round I, G. Yeah, but then your addendum is before your actual message. Maybe put the whole thing in brackets well, yeah, so but it's all we, together? We can, but we would put the main message before, but it's just a space thing that we can't because we're using caps. Also, it's basically the same thing as two lines above it. You're spreading it out over 175 meters. Yes, correct. It's just the main focus is that we want it over a longer time. Whereas the 20 rounds HE is just getting launched as fast as it can, one round every eight seconds. Because that's as fast as you can fire. Right. You just have to consider that when this is going on, there's potentially a lot of chaos on the gun line. So if they just read linear suppression, 15 rounds HE, that's why I will generally put the 15 round HE after just so that they read the one round every 20 seconds first. Just trying to make it user-friendly. That's all. You gotta think like an infantryman. Yeah, it's, it's true. And then... I don't see take it any a step, crayons. Take it a step lower because it's already... I didn't say marine. No. The infantry are allowed to use crayons because the marines keep eating. Fucking asses. <laughs> if you ditch the 
and in round it'll fit. No, I refuse. Air, Air Force gets colored I'll just, pencils. I'll just come back in tomorrow and do it. It's fine. You do what you want. It's your document. But if I'm typing it right now, I'm doing it my way. That's fine. Larson come back to see, and this will be completely different. He's just gonna like, well, all right, whatever. If we don't, okay. Fix I've it. already started. I've already started fixing the template. So, if we don't fix it, then um, the second line won't show up. So, we will have to do so. What do you mean it won't? Well, it doesn't show up. It it on my. It's screen, fine on my screen. Okay, on my yeah, screen, my screen hasn't wrapped. It uh, just... the second line is cut off. It comes so it's. I mean, I see that, but working. I don't. I don't know how yours is weird like that because it should be synchronized. Mine is a hundred percent on two lines with both visible. What line are we looking at? Twelve. Charlie one three zero. Oh, I refreshed. It came up and then it went away. Bad. Okay, that's fine. We'll sort it out. Um, I am confused. Okay, so that's fine. So one one gun can be doing that. Do we want an additional suppression somewhere else, or are we happy with that? Because we got one more gun that could be tasked. Um, reference building south of MSR, east of the uh, Y split. Mm -hmm. Ones that aren't that hasn't been tasked as a fire yeah, mission. Yeah. No, those. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I say the gun on that. Have it walk. Yeah. Now walk across. Is that is that a concern? Like, um, it's buildings in an active yeah, AO. It is. Yeah. Um, I don't disagree. Um, my thought is this fire that's currently ongoing. The primary focus is on ensuring the labs can cross the bridge. If there's anything here. It's not impeding or interacting with the labs crossing the bridge whatsoever. We can maybe add that to phase one. Sorry, I just we want to. A, I, th I thought it was a free gun, so I just wanted to. No, no, no. It is, a, it the, is absolutely uh... a free gun, and you're not wrong. And if we decide that there's nothing else that we would rather do, there's nothing wrong with putting fires there. Nothing. I just want to make sure that we've considered all the potential spots that we might want to suppress as they're crossing. Um, I don't think that little small village to the east is really a factor. I don't think it's a yeah, factor I don't think either. So. Um, the north side is pretty secure, as far as we know. Still, north side is fully yep. secure. Yes. Okay. Uh, then the last the last thing I see as a threat is the MSR coming up from the south, and that's that MSR the MSR itself, right in here. Uh Or like as it comes up this way, where panic is, where panic is kind of showing, just because I saw a lot of Vix traveling along the MSR. Yep. So yeah, the one coming from the south and the one coming from the east. So if we had somebody pounding that area where they where they come together. Yeah. So that right junction in the, right, right the there. Junction. Yeah, and just hammering it. Or, yep. uh, or even smoking it like. You know, either way. Yeah, but then we're we'll gonna have well, to drive so through it if we smoke it. The, here's the thing with smoke. Um, oh, that's right. The smoke doesn't do the. the it Vietnam doesn't damage. Murder. Yeah, it doesn't damage. Yeah, never mind. This. Never so mind. That's fine. Found I'm it. Fuck yeah, it. no, I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so let's do another uh, suppression. This one doesn't need to be linear. It can be point based on the junction. Um, I think five minutes is potentially long because the thing with this fire mission it can continue as we're driving yeah as That's they get cool. past i was thinking to like zero three one is the uh lift or yeah or zero the, zero yeah. three one is fine or i would say even zero three two because what's our flight time? oh yeah no it'll be right? dropping they'll be yeah okay yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. so zero three three zero three i would i would say zero three two zero three two could, yeah you could be Rounds here consolidate wait out that's fine Make sure we're all coordinated. Deal with like zero three two. Rounds are but... still in the air, dropping. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So let's adjust. Uh, Kilo Charlie one three zero lift is going to be rounds complete or northing zero three two. 
That's good with me. Okay, so the trigger for this next one is the same. Northing uh, 040. Yeah. I think it's probably fine. Yeah. Right? So basically all of these are done. That's all good. And then we're just going full focus on these three. This is consuming four guns, one uh, gun, one zero gun. Two, zero two five one, uh, zero three one five. I'm calling north. Yeah, I think that seems fine to me. And you can add um, a second line to that location if you want to specify the junction too. That's totally cool. Just in uh, case. I was yeah. just gonna. I was just gonna say twenty five meter radius. Well, twenty five meter radius. What that gets us like this. Right, you got to remember what's our our like lethal radius of a 105. You're probably looking in this sort of orders, like probably in here for sure is gonna kill. So you're already getting that kind of coverage. Uh, if you're true. dropping it on the road here, you're getting anything that's like this. So and if you drop it over like here, in. out here, hidden. Okay. Uh, so it doesn't need to be linear. So, so this can point? just be, doesn't, you don't even need to specify point cause you're giving them a grid. So if you don't give a radius or you don't give a linear or what have you, um, it's just that, that point. Make sense. So it can just be X minutes suppression, one round, every whatever bracket round count. And that's it. That's all we need. So how many minutes do we want? Three? Yeah, maybe keep it with the uh, smoke. Mm-hmm. Because the concept being, as soon as we cross, that smoke's going to be lifting. And we yeah. can always do a repeat if we have troubles with IEDs. Yeah. Cool. So the same as... Uh, yeah, so we'll do... Do the Charlie 125? Three minutes, one round every... 20 seconds? 10 seconds? I mean, we're, we're trying to interdict vehicles here, so 10 seconds might be good. Yeah, 10. Right, and it's a shorter time frame, so we're we're not going to consume as much as if we were doing five. So it's going to be eighteen rounds. What type? Eighteen. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't get a lot of flavor with this gun. He smoking loom, I believe it was. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. And I'd love to get some Illume missions going with this, but I think we'll save that for another day because that gets to start to get spicy. Okay. Three minutes expression, one round every 10 seconds, 18 rounds HE. Good. I'm very happy with that. So now at this point, the lift uh, for this one probably needs three, 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 three. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah, three two is just way too close. It, that's yeah. I mean, by the time guaranteed. Do, yeah, that's 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 gonna get do some damage. So northing zero three three. Okay, so now we consider the city is effectively dealt with. We've moved through, call it, we're here, we're secure. We've got a foothold and advantage. We took a ton of stuff coming through here. So is the convoy just going to keep moving or is it going to stop at points? It's capable of stopping, not an issue. Okay. Like if it's going to keep going, we could then move the smoke gun. 
from that to just dropping stuff around here. I don't know. Sorry, say that again. I'm I'm just trying to think of like mm -hmm. stuff in front. Well, that one's done. So all these three, four are done. Yeah. Um this one is continuing. This yep. freed up four guns. Yeah, that's free. This the freed one up another here one. Is free. So we've got five guns. Okay. So we could do like a sweep of three guns on one side, two on the other as we advance. But then that's a whole, what, 70 second flight time mm -hmm. in front of a probably moving convoy, should be moving convoy. You can, you can coordinate that. The yeah. other thing too is this is infantry in the open. So like, yeah, you've got Bushmasters on top of the labs. They're yeah, they can... probably going to be able to clean house. Um, no enemy armor. Enemy armor is possible, but it's hard to. Yeah, artillery ain't gonna be doing much we... for that. It's hard to pre-plan for that, right? So one thing to keep in mind, while this is all ongoing, like we're filling it up, filling it up, filling it up. There's nothing wrong with leaving one or two, like knowing a gun might be idle, or knowing that they're doubling up on a fire mission that they only need one gun for. And this is probably the best time to start doing so because there's going to be some spontaneous fire missions that the forward yeah, observers like, hey, to call. And those there's still guys, half a battalion in the town that we just left. Those guys are going to be up here. So the forward observers Where? are going to be oh, here. Oh, okay. So they'll be able to look down. You know, So if they see a cluster of vehicles or infantry or something, they can call they can it call and say, in. hey, here's a fire okay. mission. So I was about to say if uh, long range reaches, but we're not in Vietnam. Yeah, long range is fine. <laughs> Freaking radios. And like we certainly don't. I, I know it's getting late. We don't have to finish this tonight. I can. Yeah, I'm thinking that like this point's kind of just based on observation. It can like, be the forward boys. Now we also know this is a tree line. Where? Oh, yep. Yeah. Right. So, tree line's potentially going to conceal. Yeah. We're also crossing the open in front of a tree line. So, we could do HE along that. And smoke. smoke. Yeah. Smoke is good there. Bad lines, um, but yeah. Idea, yeah. Or we could do smoke somewhere along here instead. So, we leave... Because if you think of terrain here, we've got death laid all in here, and then open terrain here. So we HE the stuff that we're concerned about there being clusters. Yeah. And then smoke the stuff we're worried about having eyes on. We can shoot anything in this mid ground here, especially from this position of cover with the labs that shouldn't be an issue and then we can roll on through and then get ourselves to a position of relative security because we're not in the open quite as much So, do we care about having contain? Like, I mean, that's a big line of smoke. Yeah, I'd... I mean, we saw that it took four guns to do two hundred meters. And so I would, sorry, say it again. It, it's going to take six guns there. Yeah, that would be the entire battery just to do that line. Yeah. So we could potentially do. Like in here. Um, now this was also keep in mind, we took four guns to maintain continuous smoke for three minutes. Yeah. Because the first two had to reload. 
if we don't care about that. Um, then we could do a, a, a line and, you know, go from west towards east. So one gun does the first um, 80 meters. You know, well, kind of, it ends up being kind of 100 meters with spread. Another gun does the next 100 meters, and we call it good. I was going to say, if you measure for wind, you could speed up a lot of that. Yeah, the problem is getting it to be accurate, right? Oh, yeah, it won't fit at all. And it changes in its armor and whatever. So, And if we're here, observers are here, like, we're kind of guesstimating wind. We can probably get an idea if it was IRL that, hey, the grass is blowing this way. So shift it over here. But, like, we don't have that. It's not reliable enough. So that's what I would do. I would say, let's just approximate it. We'll do the two guns and it is what it is. Yeah, I think that's fine. You know, because if you think about it, the way you've got it laid out there, Panic, mm -hmm. if the wind blows this way, well... the This one covers. This one covers. Yeah. The wind blows this way. This one, one covers. covers. Yep. The wind blows this way. Well, this one covers it all, uh, and if it blows this way, it it's still yeah yeah it covers still way. mostly covers. So either way, that little gap is covered. So you can do two fire missions for this. That's totally cool. And you can do you know probably stretch it out to about one hundred twenty meters, one hundred twenty five meters, and a, a single gun would be able to just you know stretch it out a little bit. That's fine. So zero two eight five zero two seven five. Yeah. And initiation, I would say northing zero three one, because like we want that. Like I, we don't have to cross zero three one. We can hold here, and wait. But like, we do that, we wait the 70 seconds, wait another 10, and then we go. I think that's fine. Or we initiate at 032. But like, we could initiate at 032, we get a nasty surprise around the corner, and then we spend 120 seconds dicking around at this junction when the smoke has started and has plumed at 80 seconds. We've just lost 40 seconds of smoke out of our 60 seconds of coverage. And for the lift on this, there's no risk to friendlies. It's not a case of we're passing by and it's no longer useless. We're just doing a single pass. So I would just say lift is rounds complete. Make sense? Yep. Cool. Uh, this one does not have to be time-based because we're just doing a single single row. So linear smoke, four rounds, or linear four round smoke, whatever makes sense. Keep it consistent that way. Hundred twenty five meters east west. Or why would you west west to east? Just because that's kind of the direction we want it to drop, if that makes sense. Okay, and then what's the grid for this? We can start getting the grid while North finishes typing that up. 0305-0278. Yep. Or 7. It's either 7 or 8. I can't really... It's all... Eh, it's like... Either's probably fine. I would say that's yeah. kind of an 8. That's kind of a 9. So maybe 7. Uh... That's borderline. That's eight. Whichever you want to put there north, I don't care. Yeah, you make the executive decision. Say uh, start again. Zero three zero, zero five. Two, 
Zero, zero two seven zero five. Eight. It's yeah, seven, that's eight. I'd, I'd say that's an eight. It's eight. Oh, you're very decisive. Well, <laughs> you're only getting one line above that. I know, I know. Um, and then this is northeast, southwest. And then now we have this big old line of HE for, I would say, two guns. But again, they might task three because they have them. But at that point, one or two guns could be doing this. It's dropping. Yeah. So I would centralize it here. Yeah. So 0295. Zero two six six two two yeah. I mean, if the other one was an eight, this is a two. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, in it is going to be also zero three one, or I, actually, it could be sooner. It could be zero three two because we don't care. It's not like we're having smoke cover. We just want to start destroying this stuff. Yeah. So we could do 032 is fine. This is where the TT load act gets confusing because you've got a fire mission that looks very similarly timed, right? It's the same general area, but one is initiating at 031. The other one's initiating at 032. The one at 032 is put on the TT load act after the one at 031. So it, like... Chronologically, it seems backwards. We could switch it for ease of reading and, and processing, but we've also got four guys solely dedicated to managing the TT Lodak and assigning these fire missions to the tubes. We've got a battery commander, a 2IC, and then, pardon me, five guys, because then there's three section commanders. One guy per two tubes. So like, there's lots of eyes on to make sure they're doing the right stuff. I'll um, it. Like, okay, pre-aim here, pretty much. Exactly, right? Or so, like, heads up, like, you're going to aim here, then you're going to go here, then you go back. <laughs> yeah, they're, you're going to have guns that you'll tell them what target to reference versus going in chronological anyway. Yeah. Or they might just read it right and know where to go. So. Yeah. yeah. Might have some repeats in there. Yeah, you you might you're gonna probably have repeats like this smoke might be end up being a repeat. This suppression might be a repeat, um, you know, that sort of thing. If we get there and we start taking a whole bunch of fire from one of these quadrants, it's like yeah, that's a yeah. repeat. Yeah, you know, because we can repeat and then call lift fire. So like if they get halfway through, they get ten rounds out and the shooting stops. We can call lift fire. That's fine. So we have options. Um, this is again going to be linear destruction. Uh, probably a lot of HE because we've got a lot of ground. Almost 600 meters of coverage. Yep. So we had 20 rounds basically over 200 meters on the last one. So about 60. Or six six hundred sixty, yeah. Or a hundred is probably fine because really? I mean, goodness. I'm being not? facetious. I just threw it in there. You said a lot, but yeah, I would say sixty rounds is fine. Um. I would make this northeast to southwest. Yeah, that's good. If we want, uh, I'm actually rethinking this. 
I mean, if we're going along this line, yeah, that's probably good actually. This, but that's it'll end up being some splash. I'm thinking we kind of want it in the tree line, but that'll that'll be in the tree line. That's fine. Um, good. Right, if it starts like here, it well, it doesn't. Up. Yeah, yeah, the line you're saying. Yeah, like that's the fine. line I drew is with it, but. If we center on here, that's fine. You know what? The, I think at the end of the day, they're going to understand the concept. That it's at that yeah. line is what we're aiming for, and they're they're going to. We could put people yeah, will naturally line. click on you the could, line. You could put tree line. Yeah, you can put the uh, attitude tree line. Uh, a lot will depend on what is shown on the artillery. Line. Yeah, tree line's too sketchy to rely on it. What does that work on there? Right? What's the tree line? I don't have you. Right there. It, it's very it's very subjective. It's clear here. And as you have seen in tenth SFG, tree lines aren't always accurately <laughs> represented on a topographic map. No. So <laughs> oh, it is God, not something gonna... that I would rely on for any yeah. actual tactical we're, maneuvers. We're gonna talk about the, we're gonna get back to the irrigation dishes, aren't we, North? Unless it's very, very clear. Like you see when I zoom out here? It's super, super clear where that tree line is. Unless it's like that all the way in, I wouldn't rely on it. Okay, fair. Like here. Okay, here. Cool. This is a very, very clear tree line. Like, I would use that all day long. That's awesome. Um, here. Is this tree? Is this not tree? Is this tree? The tree line. So we're going to go here, da da da, here. Like, you know what I mean? They're going to start drawing on the map. So, northeast, southwest, I think that's good. Lift fire on this one. Um, it, it's going to get dicey over here. Yeah. 031027. Have, uh, Maybe. Have them, so, start, have them start there and walk it. Yeah, so that's where the attitude southwest. northeast southwest comes into play. So that's kind of start northeast, head southwest. But again, yeah. if you've got two or three guns on this, they might layer it. They might or layer like... it, or they might split it up. Say, I'm going to start here, you start here. So yeah. it, you know, oh. or they might go here, 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 and then goes here, here, Back here, 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 and like you know, ones like hey, it's round sixty, kajunk, you know, and then it's like. And the labs are rolling right here, and then it lands. So, um, lift fire is again going to be grid based, but how fast are we moving? I mean, how long is it going to take for I, two guns? I, I agree. North. Yeah, northing zero two nine and easting zero two nine. So that one's actually really easy. You literally can't screw that up. Yeah, I'm with you because we can also take shelter there. Yep. Like we can use that as a as a kind of support by fire. They say you can't screw it up, but uh well, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um what are we looking at? It's two minutes of fire. Cause that's gonna take us like 30 seconds to cross. Not even. And we've got two minutes of fire going out. Yeah, I mean, if, if the the labs are, are just cooking and going, then yeah. they'll be from that marker past the fire line in under 30 seconds. Yeah. Because I know in the Humvees, we fucking hightailed it because all of your infantry from the south had already made it to that field by the time we got there. And we saw a bunch of guys with RPGs and said, fuck this shit. They also came from the east, too, those little villages. Okay, so um, compounds. after linear destruction, put another comma. Uh, we can somehow make a note of 031027. Um, like, the TT Lodak isn't just a, here you go, figure it out. This is, a, this is the game plan. Let's brief the TT Lodak. Um... Right, because here, you know, here's our our, our fire line. Uh, it was uh, 
Roughly this is what's going to end up. Um, and this is I'm just making this up on the fly with how we can. I I have a question. Special... Yeah, I have a question because uh, I was talking to Brenda about this. Mm. Um, for the nom stuff, are you coming up with these in like that 15 minute window every time? No, I generally well, it depends. I will generally come up with most of it as early as I can. It depends when the server is being restarted. Right. Um, the other so day, I thought, I thought about that and the fact that we can't yeah. really plan too much ahead. The other day, when I came up with the one for the island, I had more time because I specifically requested it because we were doing the two approaches, and I started at like three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. Just make it sure. Um. The one I did prior to that, we were restarting like 30 minutes before. I had the initial workup for the smoke and the HE beyond and the seed. All I did is I added the specific grids. And then the rest then just... the rest of it was based off, okay, this is where we're coming in. So I can put a line of suppression here and this here and that there. And then I added more to it. But I already knew we wanted at least two to three seed missions we wanted smoke on the LZ, we wanted destruction on the LZ, and then I wanted suppression past the smoke. So I already knew that to begin with. There you go. Uh, but yeah, I went, even when we were doing the two LZs, I wasn't confident that I was going to have two gunners. I wasn't confident we were doing both LZs. I ended up doing probably 50% of those TT load acts for Maxwell Field in those 15 minutes yeah <laughs> all right like i'm not even kidding wrapping up the tt lodak for the second lz on the flight over so yeah all of this type of stuff yeah it's a good time i i enjoy it a little bit too much than i should um so special notes making on here zero three one zero two seven I would just do uh, I would do that. On after you'll linear construction. Move. You'll need to move whatever. Yeah, apologies, 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 apologies. Okay. So, because then that will just serve as a reminder. Hey, zero three one, zero two seven. Yeah. Needs special care, and they'll, will brief, at the start, lay that down first, and then don't go back to it. Because we're gonna just zoot on past, and they can continue to blast that tree line. Cool. And for anybody that's paying attention and looking at what's going on and, and how we're moving through, even just having those two asterisks there, 031027, they're going to go look at that grid and they're going to realize, oh, it's right next to the road, so that's going to be danger yeah. close. That's going to be a danger close. Right. Yeah. It's, it, it's, it puts attention to it and it becomes really apparent what the issue is. I think I think that's more than enough for this evening. I really appreciate you guys sticking through this. It, um, it's kind of painful, uh, especially going at this pace with you guys to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, See how it is? No, I, I just I just mean like I'm repeating Brain myself and, well, and now you're good. going you, you over have, excruciating detail. Yeah, you you know how to do it, and you're like, okay, well I have to dumb it down. Explain. No, it's not. It's not even dumb it down. It's just like explain the twenty steps that I'm doing in my head. Yeah, you make sure done it in I'm your head like it. a second. Yeah, like, okay, it's this. You got it. You're good here. Yeah. Um. Even something like reading the terrain map and thinking, well, I don't really care what's here because like we can shoot anything that's here and anything that's here can't see us, so I don't care yeah. about covering this in smoke. Like just just having that concept, right? Not everybody's gonna pick up on that right away. 
and that's totally like the clear. penis hill here. You can't see anything here. Yeah, you can't see anything behind the the penis dowdy, right? So, wow, that really is a penis. Look at it. It's, just, it's got everything. Yeah, and it's got the wow. Penis. That's, I'm gonna <laughs> zoom out because now Twitch is gonna ban me. Um, do you guys have any questions on that? On the process? On the specific content? Different types of fire missions. The information provided in the attack guidance. It's not a question, more of a make sure when we start that everyone knows how to do uh, eight figure grids. eight lines. Yeah, eight figures. Yeah, that'll be number one. Because I did not, and that's fine. Yeah, that's one of the first things we're gonna do. This whole mini is about getting folks exposure to this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's gonna have a long range, so everyone's gonna be tuned to their section net or whatever yeah yeah they're gonna be tuned to 80 so they're gonna be tuned to their section net which will allow them to communicate with their section commander who is specifically telling them you put rounds here and doing this you put rounds here doing this like that's really all they need to know but then they'll also have the long range so they will be able to listen to the forward observers saying like hey i want fires here advise splash advise rounds complete because that's going to be going back up through the section commanders and then the battery commander back over to the forward observer team so you know for the first four right kula charlie one zero zero one zero five one one zero one one five rounds out time to splash x right now keeping in mind the first one kilo charlie one with zero zero time splash 45 not 75 so right yeah. anyway so there, there's there's that information that can be passed along and um that's all gonna be on long range everybody's gonna be listening to that they'll be able to absorb it um it's gonna be chaos and that's why we're doing say, it that, that yeah it's totally entirely, totally like, chaos fuck. I mean, hell, three birds on one net is ridiculous. You want six guns? Well, this is the thing. Each gunner isn't going to be on the net. They'll okay. be listening. They're not going to be communicating. They're just listening. Okay. The section commanders will then take care of the comms. All right. Potentially. I might even say the battery commander does it. Trial by fire, fuck it. Right. So the battery commander is going to be someone who has a lot of experience on this stuff. It probably will be me. Because I don't wish that on anybody else. We've also never run more than two guns. Never. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that. We've done nope, three nope. mortars. We've done three mortars. Uh, didn't we do? Oh, was it mortars or something? We had like a yeah, battery line mortars. again. It was a couple years ago, a year or two. Yeah, we we were running around setting up mortars. Mm -hmm. And we used a TT Lodak, but nobody else had to interact with the TT Lodak because that was just between Mog and I. And so he had the TT, like he and I both had the TT Lodak, and then he would reference the target IDs, call, fire when ready. I would then pass the information along to the three guns and dictate, okay, gun one and two, set up for this, fire. Gun three, set up for this, fire. Okay, gun one, cease fire, I need you to retask on this. Gun two, okay, now you cease fire because they've passed this phase line. And I was getting all that information of, okay, they've past phase line this ceasefire kilo charlie 100 initiate fires kilo charlie 120 and that was all coming from mog on the long range and then i interpreted that based on the tt lodak as to what we needed to be doing and passed on specific grids and type of ordinance and round count so i did that for three tubes and yep. we're gonna have one person for two guns so it'll be a little bit more easy to manage a little bit easier to manage, pardon me. Um, but yeah, the comms, they're, they're going to be chaotic. Um, just because everybody's listening to everything. Um, but again, that's part of the role. So, just getting familiar with that, listening, hearing it, getting used to what it's going to sound like. Because at the end of the day, like when we're running one or two guns, the guys on the, on the guns are getting all of it like they're getting the call direct and straight from the forward observer uh, geez 
Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> and so they're going to need to know what those comms kind of sound like if they want to. So this gets them a little bit of a taste without actually having to manage those comms. And as far as I'm concerned, like once we get there and, and we've got all this, um, the rest of it's kind of, it's a, it's a lot more closed in, there's a lot more stuff going on, um, and quite frankly, if we make it that far, and we were working on 11 fire missions at that point, uh, we've got minute and a half here, two minutes here, five minutes here, minute and a half. Like, so we, we're probably closing in on close a mini mission by the time we get one, five, five out. So. And splash. And somewhere in here, uh, the observer team is going to have some spontaneous fire missions they're going to be able to call in and um the gun line commanders are going to have to figure out kind of who to give it to how to square that away and uh pardon me 150 not 155 i was looking at the wrong sheet still 10 No, your first tally was correct. It is 11. Oh, it is 11. Okay. I'm tired. It's getting late. Only 10. It is 10. I had a it's getting late. Okay, right on. Well, if you guys don't have any other questions, I'll uh, let y'all fly and be free. Um, I got nothing. Cool. Yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. yeah, originally I was thinking I might add a couple things later on after we were done, but I don't think so. I think that's probably more than enough fire missions and stuff to keep us busy for 10, 15 minutes. So. Right on, right on. I really did have you do have a question? Yeah. I did have one, but I don't remember what it is. Okay. Uh Oh. That's mm. right. Uh Tots had User joined your channel. Tots had mentioned air. Do are yeah. we gonna do something with the mini with air? Not for this one. I figured. I just uh, wanna make sure. I would be down adding air into a TT Lodak in the future. Okay. Um, the reason I like the concept of adding air into a TT Lodak is gun target line and deconflictions. So, here's our gun target line. Right? Right. Um, especially the, the ones, well, I, basically anything in here. Uh, it's pretty close in on yeah sure it's right on the right on the edge like right on the edge like these ones they won't even fire the smoke won't even fire right so these are going to have to be mediums but the other ones otherwise those are going to be far because we want that vertical so these rounds are probably coming in just about straight down that height on that how much does it go up yeah a long ways like a good long ways i couldn't it goes tell you very exactly. very up it goes very very up um, what's the muzzle velocity of the round as it leaves oh, i guess you can't really give me the angle i couldn't tell you okay traveling here, how many clicks was that? One. Off to Five declassified and a half. military files, I guess. Five and a half? 
Five and a half. Five and a half kilometers. So, all right. Now that's just gonna be horizontal speed, but you can. Oh, I know I have this somewhere. I had to reference it once for a stupid thing. User left your channel. Dent? Hello? Did you know that you have double A, oh, double, double, double A two four as a VIP still on your stream? Okay. Okay. Cool. Dan's also a, a VIP member. Did they buy notepad from you? Is that uh, the... Nope, they didn't. Oh, okay. No, I haven't, I haven't bought anything from them. North uh, came and visited. <laughs> yeah. Several uh, times? I see. Multiple times, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah. Reader, you how you doing with that math there? Had you finding anything on the unclassifieds there? Oh, I didn't even try. Oh, okay. So it looks like that's what I had to do depends, for movie project. On, for... So it depends on the gun is the problem. What? It could range between roughly two thirds of your overall distance. Um versus it could be double your overall distance like it depends on the gun which is irritating well it's an m11 so, 9a2 yeah but they're, they're not gonna give on, me that information they're not charged, gonna you'd be surprised reader i found me, a lot clarify. of let data for an m8 ags let, system let, that let tank clarify. okay they they will they will tell me they will not tell me in a nice, easy way that I can find in a couple minutes. In a couple minutes, that's true. I had to sift through like, yeah, four hundred pages to find some a some exactly. data on like APFSD shells. Okay. Marines what? .mil publications. I got you, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Stand by for a charge. Listen, listen. Last time, I, last time. We What's the jewel countage on that? Let's see. Don't get me started on that. Because last time I had to do the heavy... heavy Firing lifting, table uh, muzzle velocity. I got you. Stand by. Oh, here we go. All right. Here we go. Uh, well, how, what's the angle of degree that the cannon's firing at in-game? Because with that, then we can get the muzzle velocity, and then we can split our x-axis yeah, from the y-axis. What's your What's your long range? Uh, Roughly... Uh, it looks to me like it was an 80. It was a 75 to 80. I didn't get a good look Stand at by. it. I gotta, I gotta jump out of the... Mm. What, time of flight? No. No. The, uh, no. The uh, angle. Does it, oh, oh it, does it tell you angle? No, I'm estimating. Oh. Damn it. Sorry. Well, hang on. I got a protract. Oh, do elevation, I protract elevation is 1,400 mils. <sighs> God damn it. Tuned. <laughs> That's Why? what they do it in. Just saying. I think is that seventy nine. Is that uh, degrees? Uh, fourteen hundred mils is seventy eight points. Yeah, there you go. So Wait, it's yeah. 80, call, it, call it roughly eighty degrees. Oh, you gotta be precise. Yeah, well, seventy eight point seven five. There, reader. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is fourteen hundred exact, or is that? Did you round down? Or... Well, it depends on where we're going here. Let's just consider okay. the general area. Okay, that's. Uh, give, give me my that. longest shot. Seventy nine point three nine. No, you want the shortest shot because that's going to be the most vertical. Yes, but I won't be in the AO at its most at its peak point. But I would not want... be flying. It, it doesn't matter where it's. It, its it doesn't. Point. It doesn't matter where it's going to be. We're we're just trying to find the the maximum. That's altitude true. that it reaches, so, I, so that I know my flight deck. Yeah. Well, not even that. You get you can then determine the trajectory and then know that in the final thousand meter like horizontal range, 
what's the highest it's going to be, right? Because that's where you're going to interact with it potentially as you're coming in. I mean, this yeah, but if I, was doing, if I was doing, if I was doing, this all is this why we just avoid decision. the gun target. I this is why we, this, we can targets. generate a function. <laughs> no, but actually, so this is where deconflictions and TD loadout come in because we can say, um, you know, come in from this way or that way. And, and all, anyways, deconflictions between air assets and, um, and artillery assets can be done either through ingress, egress, um, or time on target. So for, I mean, a 70 second flight time. Well, right. Um, that's true. If you're I mean, changing even for rotary, you're not going to have a minute long time on target unless like, you know, no, you're not right. So, I mean, how long does it take to reload this sucker? Right. I, I put, um, all rounds out. Just give me one sec. Well, actually. You could deconflict. Oh, you could deconflict with the with the air assets. Uh, time on target with the bomb release, or time to target. Sorry. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying here. So I'm just gonna. Oh, this is gonna take me forever to dump. So let's switch to smoke. Because it should remain the same time to change from smoke back to HE as it would to change like to reload HE, you know what I mean? So you expand 12 HE and that's the same amount of time. Oh, so that's that's the way that you're talking about. Yeah, so, like, so I'm saying while, so while the guns while the guns reload while the guns that, down, in exactly that, in that window. So that's where the air comes in. That's where it. the air can come in and hit it. Right. Right. Okay. That's okay. where your time on target comes in. So I'm with you, it. Last round, rounds complete. You've now got 75 seconds to get that aircraft sorted, get them at the IP, and then once that round is 10, 15 seconds to splash, you're cleared in. Okay, we've, as, a, as we've, about to say, we've, by we've round's practiced. complete. Okay. We, we've practiced worse. Oh. Yeah, right. So like 10, 15 seconds to splash, cleared in, call continue, inbound through IP, and then boom, splash, cleared hot. Oh, look at that. Right, yeah, you come in. Use, you probably depending on up. you know depending on time for this reload that I'm about to like the time I'll do I'll leave one in the tube. Um, you're probably looking at a good 20, 30 seconds on target. That's enough for a reciprocal, right? Or you consider Nam, right? Well, so depends I'll... on. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing else flies like the F4 does. Okay, that's true. I I can literally like. <laughs> okay, here we go. 100 Ready? Power uh, and get out of anything. Fire. Now it's reloading. Oh, that's faster than I thought. That was five seconds. Goodness, six. That was fast. Okay. Yeah, artillery. At least yeah, at it doesn't, distance. doesn't really change. Yeah, you're gonna have a, a whole thing loaded in by time your last shell of the previous well, rack had yeah, landed. At, at least at this distance. You know what's fun? Hmm. This is something else that's... Uh... But slotted in an aircraft, like, as the rounds land and Can't before the new, the new rack comes There's in? Fire. No, not even that. Uh, this is partly with artillery, uh, the fun thing that you can do here. Are you are you doing the long gun rounds and then the medium rounds? That they all strike at the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Brenda and I were playing with that with the mortars for a mission I might have in mind. But I need a World War II mod set. People don't get all wishy washy about. So this is cool. 
before that first yeah. one has even landed, I'm going to have another three on target. So this is another way of saying, okay, um, it's very, very narrow window of opportunity because, you know, Arma. Um, you have a 80 second window for fires. Jesus. So if you got an 80 second window for fires on the artillery, then we're going to have 30 seconds pause for fixed wing and then another 80 seconds of fire for you to go back, find a new, new IP, do your thing, right? Yeah. So what do we got? We got 78 seconds. So say, call it 90 seconds because we can do one, one round after that, right? Uh, this is also going to give us a string that we got to reload. So we'll see how it does for that time-wise. But fire that. And then as soon as this is available again, just going to keep hammering that click. And there you go. That's the last round we can fire. Because we went about 10 seconds over that last. Because I fired it was about 26 seconds ETA. This is 36 seconds. It was, uh, yeah, about 35, 34. Right. And we just got how many rounds in the same time frame? That one hasn't even landed yet. Boom. It lands. Those two landed literally the exact same time. And then there was seven seconds left on this one. Where rounds complete, splash, final splash, and then guns open. Is that last one just an accident? Or? No, no, no. Because I said we had 90 seconds of fire. Okay, so no, seven... sorry. That's, that's just stream delay. And you saying, okay, and then guns open. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because it was 76 seconds plus 14 for 90 seconds total right you can get that one last yeah. round in no problem yeah and right it means that um for the same amount of rounds for that last round out you've cut how much time right so you've got more fire in in a short amount of time yeah Like, your fire rate is the same. Um, yeah, but time to target is... Right, time adjusted. to target is shorter. So, um, right. we had 76 seconds of fire. Call it 80 seconds of fire, 8 rounds each. So, it was 10 rounds total. Um, so, if it's 10 rounds total, that took us... Um, pardon me, it wasn't 10 rounds total. It was 76 seconds minus the 36. So it's 46 seconds of fire. Six rounds? No, it was more than that, wasn't it? I think it was eight. Eight rounds? Uh, Yeah. I didn't really count. I should have counted. But you get my point. <laughs> As you said, smash the fire button. Yeah. So. But that starts to get into more stuff that we don't really care about for this. Um, 
just one sec. I got a little perfect though. It's friggin' hot in here. Yeah, so then you can combine that with um, time on target type stuff for getting your aviation in. Um, oh, I remember I remember the other thing. So how much do I have to donate to the channel to uh, switch out that uh, CF-118 for a uh, A-10 Charlie type? Uh, <laughs> can't put a price on using Canadian assets, my friend. Welcome to Operation Impact. Nah, I know. I figured it. I figured that was going to be the case. It's just like I'm getting calls for gun runs, and I'm like, you guys know, I gotta. <laughs> yeah, hey, I made it work. Well, I mean, you, it's a 20 mil. you kept getting calls for gun runs because we were getting fucked up nah, I, by I, a I very it. entrenched enemy. No, nah, I, I got it. I was like, uh, uh... It didn't have it didn't have a spread. It's just kind of a yeah. reader. Like, like can make the twenty like mil we work. Were... You should be able to do it just fine. It's a. I know. It's it's the fact that it's a laser line. Yeah, like we were we were in a construction building for like a lot of that that fight. Yeah. It it almost collapsed because it had taken so much fire. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Just go back and make, make your. I heard uh, someone mention it, and I was just like, "I'm just gonna go ahead and reposition <laughs> now, so I can pick up the pieces afterwards." <laughs> and then karma struck when I drove across a bridge and found the IED that everybody else missed. Get into the habit, at least for op impact and any controller. Get into the uh, uh, habit of calling wings level. And on target at about two and a half to three clicks out, at least for a gun run, as long as it's not at too close to friendlies. That's what I did with, with uh, tuned in. The spread was was okay on the 20 mil. Oh, so you're wanting to fire real far out so that I get the spread. I think there's a clip of it. Well, no, I'll, that, I mean, that's one way that you can do it. That's one way that I ended up doing it. Yeah. I think tuned has a clip of... Uh, not a clip, but a part of one of his op impacts, he was controlling me, and he called for a gun run along a ridge uh, from bottom to top of the hill. And you saw the tracers come in. Then, like, 20 seconds later, he looked up and saw me, like, on that same, you know, line of ingress, uh -huh. basically flying over. Yep. So it, it's doable. I mean, I know you have a, a track record for getting real nice and close. <laughs> Maybe a bit too close here and there, but I, I like to I like to skim it. One dirt, two six. Yeah, I was gonna say skim. Skim's generous. Skimming it. Coming in hot. 